Right, welcome back to Mido Fishing. Today we're going to talk about the strip bait swimmer and how easy it is to make, but what a good lure it is and how fantastic it is for catching a wide variety of fish, not just bunnies or snook. This thing catches everything. It catches big cooter, it catches billfish, and there's different ways of fishing it. But first, I'm going to tie it for you quickly to show you exactly how it's made let's just get my screen put up in the front here aha okay cool new software I'm playing around with here check this out <laughs> but okay as you can see better this time there is that camera I've got a hook nice big old tuna hook overkill I've got number eight wire because, like I said, big fish happen to jump on these crazy silver things. This is a pink one. I've got other colors too. It doesn't really matter. They go so fast on the surface. Well, if you're fishing them on the surface on the top. Okay, let's get the knot going. First of all, normal, normal old a wire twist. But have quite a long tag end. Uh, this is very difficult on that. Okay, I'm just going to start the knot. Focus on where the camera is. I'm going to tie it like five barrels I mean twists like that and then close it with a barrel a set of barrels I really hope you can see this and then you think you're done but now you add a little hooklet into the wire and I'm, luckily it's number eight you can use number eight because there's a surface lure mainly going to be on the top okay it gets a bit wobbly at this point you just have to straighten it up but that is in essence what you're supposed to have. Ah, I can see it. Right. Okay, so now you pop the little duster on. You can use any old duster. I like these long skirt dusters. And you will notice that that hook thing that you made earlier, that thing there, that thing holds the plastic and the hook together in the exact right place. The hook's just buried inside the plastic. Start there. That little. Okay, done. Now you just have to close it off with a loop at the end because most people have got um, clip things on their boats these days. So a little loop will do. I'll just do it around this pair of pliers real quick. Okay, now to fish this thing. That little hook that I just showed you, that's the trick around here because you don't have to put bait on, but if you put a strip of beautiful, fresh mackerel or bonito on that thing, then you are going to find yourself in the game for all kinds of fish because the smelliness of the, or the shininess and the fleshiness of a nice, beautiful, juicy fillet and then the flashiness and the swimming behavior of this awesome little surface rig we got going here. So you lift this up, you open the little hooklet, like that. Yes, you can see it. To move my head out the way. All right, you can see it kind of. Um, onto that, you just hook this fillet, ding, 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 and it hangs down here beautifully. Then you close it off again, and you've got your little piece of bait here. So you don't have to put cotton, you can just chuck it in if you're going slow, especially. But if you're going high speed, like for snook and uh, marlin and wahoo and things and kuda, like six or up knots, eight, then you have to put cotton. But you can Cotton it up beautifully. You can make such a nice um, looking thing here with a strip of bonito or whatever the case may be. And you plonk this back on top and off you go. So the whole idea is that you can go <coughs> very slow. That's the real answer to this. You put your beautiful fillet bait on and go as slow as you can. Um, your chances are for a big cooter are for a big hooter are really good and a sailfish. Put a long strip, like that long, long fillet. You know, um, then if you get bored of going slow, maybe the fish didn't bite, then you can go fast. But then you need to put some cotton or some binding to keep the bait on the, on the hook. But this thing really comes alive on the surface and with a big juicy fillet hanging off the edge of it, off the back of it. Man, those fish, when it hits the lure at like eight or nine knots, Eee, makes a noise eh? <laughs> then if the bait comes off it still works as a 
feather type thing. If you don't want to put another bait on, that's fine. You don't have to put a bait on. That clip holds it in place. Right, so where to get these things? Well, back to the good old Mido website, which we've got uh, on the Sardine website, in fact. And we are going to be moving it onto its own website one of these days. But for the moment, you can come to this lacquer place, the Sardine co.za forward slash mido and you can see all what's going on with mido current some store, stories from the past all of the products list at the bottom here and off you go that's where you get them but okay the cool mido strip bed swimmer will really brighten up your day and uh it's good value it's only like 85 bucks or something Rand that is, and uh, you can just get it right here on this uh, Sardine website. So, <clears throat> we'll see you online. But okay, cool. Thanks for playing, and this has been really fun with my new software over here. <laughs> Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll keep making more instructional videos so you can make your own lures here on this channel, and you can order them if you want me to make them for you. I like making lures. All right, fantastic. Wonder where the stock button is. Aha, here it is. Ciao.